Well, welcome back to Turf Ball, where it's 1-0 here. And it's also 1-0 in that other game, as I explained to you. Andros Townsend's goal separating uh, Spurs and Hull at the moment. Hull very much surviving now with, uh, in mid-table. Full credit to Steve Bruce's bed. Spurs try to head the season on the high. Try to break into that top six, of course, remember. Here's Bards. Folks, barely attacking the McElroy end in the second half. And nearly scoring at it as well. Good save by Bagovic. It's a part of approval from his captain, Robert Hoof. Alfield with the corner. Barnes is lurking. Folks is there too. Duff with a job to do here and he's been beaten here. And a real opportunity here for Stoke. Oh, what an excellent challenge. It breaks to Moses. Still Victor Moses pulled back. And desperate defending there for Burley for the first time in the co contest. Here's uh, some folks. He's got through this time. It's folks. Good save by Megovic. <laughs> Well, he's got to be. He's only been beaten by that Phil Bardsley deflection. All the other times he's uh, he's been called upon to make a save. Now here's an uh, here's an introduction. Bojan Kerkic, the former Barcelona player, couldn't break through past Messi and Co at the new camp, but he's on now to try and rescue Stoke City. As the corner comes in, White Duff. Ward Taylor Taylor good save and I think there's going to be some substitutions here for Burnley and it's going to be Ings and Kane about to make their final home games of the season and Lampard's going to get half an hour's cameo as well so Burnley strengthened in their hand as they Go trying to extend their victory to two as we see the save again from Megavich. So a triple change being made here by the Clarets. I suppose at two goals up they can afford to, uh, well, a goal up and not feel great pressure. They can afford to bring the leading likes on. And it gives them a send off from the home crowd as well. The home fans, I don't mean Burnley would have given themselves if these three. Didn't put in a shift uh, before in their last home game of the season as Lampard takes this Clarence corner. Begovic half punched it. Harfield. More or less of an open goal. But he had to strike it first time on the volley. Very tough even with an open goal, I suppose, for Harfield to get it on target. There's the value of a Lampard corner. Almost paid dividends right on the word goal. No saves for Tom Eaton yet. Largely, largely underemployed so far. And that could all change here. Bowyer. Bardsley, who got the only goal of the game, the own goal. Trying to put things right with a potential assist, but he couldn't uh, pick out a strike shirted player. Stoke starting to come into the game a little bit more as this second half uh, comes on. That's a fine tackle. Nothing wrong with that, says Mr. Oliver. And then he blows for a three kick to Burnley. Moses going off. And Anotovic will enter the fray. Oh, that was a bit uh, dopey there. And Michael Duff is giving the ball straight away here and still could end up punishing him here. Avantage played as well. There was a foul on the Stoke player. Island chips it in. Bowman trying to flick it on, but it's an easy one for Tom Heaton. That's the first touch I think he's had of the ball. We've played 74 minutes of the game. Oh, of all 
well they are it is the final home game could be decided by a yellow card here meanwhile uh, by uh, an own goal there as uh, Jason Shackle there gets a, a yellow card just for the challenge on an out of which uh, a few moments earlier final change being made there by Stoke who uh, decided to get on with it pretty quickly oh penalty Ward in on Sidwell it's a penalty no card I think for the offender in fact there is a card for the defender but it's a yellow one and not a red so it means now Stoke have a chance to try and pinch a point here through the substitute Juve And he's up against Tom Heaton here. Can Stoke upset it, the odds of this final home game of the season for the Comets? Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Still not away yet. Oh, and he's off the post. Oh, my goodness me. Stoke could have equalised and, and very easily. And at the other end, folks on the break. And he scored. <laughs> What a minute and a half worth of drama there, capsulated in a nutshell. Stoke hit the woodwork twice, once from the penalty spot, and then hit the post, and then the ball fell kindly for Danny Inks. He ran through on goal while everybody was committed forward and uh, confidently and cheekily slid it under Peggy Richard's leg and into the net and the game is settled when it could so easily have gone the other way and it finished 1-1 it's going to end possibly now 2-0 and Inks signs off the whole campaign with his 30 second goal in the league this season and Burley now who could have been pulled back to 1-1 and now two goals up Kitely has picked up a slight injury which is a concern with the European final almost 10 days away here's Lampard Looking to make the score a little bit more secure. There it is. Right up. And Lampard signs off the home campaign with a goal. And the three points easily won there. Now it's on to Villa Park for the Premier League party on Sunday. And with this win tonight, as Lampard, as we see, finding the bottom corner again, takes them now to 99 points. And they only have to draw, at least, against Villa to bring up the century of points. And his third goal for Burley, but his overall contribution since coming in January has been fantastic. He's added that extra know-how, that extra bit of ability, that extra bit of quality. He might have only got three goals since joining him, but I tell you what, give him a full season, he'll score a lot more than three, even at his age. Inside five minutes of stoppage time. That's knockings now. Stoke have tried their best to try and pull it back. I think 3 0 slightly flatters the Clarets because Stoke have been much the better side within this last half an hour and should have equalised right at the death there. And they still might get something here as that cross comes in. Oh, it's in! Well, that's a rare mistake from Tom Eaton. Stoke have scored a consolation goal and it's Bojan. <laughs> From about a meter out to who claims it the ball didn't cross the line Heaton well that was a mistake and a half but he makes I'm sure Heaton makes one mistake a season Bojan only his second goal he's still colors believe it or not uh, it's, uh, it's a it's a go where he could sort of side off out well, 3-1 then the action has certainly happened in that last 10 or 15 minutes as the referee blows at the end so everything is all over now the home games are all over now I don't go for Barsley Ings and Lampard for Burnley Bojan with a last minute uh, reply for Stoke but Burnley signed off the whole campaign with a 3-1 victory tonight over Stoke City